of uh, religion in Islam compared to Christianity, but I never questioned it as an alternative for the truth with a capital T, because of course I was a practicing Christian, so I believed in Christianity. But now, while writing the book and I was a little bit older, with those doubts I had about the dogmas of Christianity, I read it in a different way and I start questioning it. And I got a lot of Islamic answers to my Christian questions. And of course, that didn't feel very nice, <laughs> uh, especially because I was an anti-Islamic politician active uh, still because I was still in parliament but uh, I wanted to make sure that the book was correct because I thought well when I publish this anti-Islam book it has to be correct it, 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 uh, well, a lot of people will attack me of course if there is a little fault so I thought it was it has to be correct so what I did was writing to several authorities on Christianity uh, Judaism because uh, part one of the Bible is the, the Jewish Bible and also uh, Islam because I was writing this book in a comparison uh, between Christianity and Islam. And one of the people I wrote to was Abdul Hakim Murad, uh, Sheikh Abdul Hakim Murad from Cambridge University. And, um, well, he, he started explaining me some things about the core of Islam and he, he advised me to read certain articles, certain books, uh, I wrote to several people. So that's what I did. And during this search for more information, my, my whole attitude towards Islam changed bit by bit. So where I started writing my anti-Islam book with all these ideas that Islam was anti-Christianity, uh, anti-women, uh, anti-whatever, uh, it was very negative. But gaining more information, it, it started changing the way I, uh, I looked at Islam. So. Uh, where I started writing my anti-Islam book, at a certain moment it, it changed into a search for truth, a search for information. And of course it ended, I ended up <laughs> becoming a Muslim, 